not recording okay so now welcome to our tech study for means itsp technologies so today we will learn and last video we in the tool section we cover sonar cube so if those people don't know to want to learn sonar cube uh, like how to code review how to use it in the aws you can go and watch this and today's session is based on nexus repository what is that nexus repository so anyone don't know the nexus repository it's okay fine today we will learn all about the nexus repository and also using aws and docker to uh, deploy our jar inside the nexus repository so let's start so here we have the jars this is the repository so nexus repository is nothing but uh, like a storage we can store our jar like upload our jar inside the nexus repository so maybe one question rise from the interviewer like what is the difference between nexus repository and github repository so both are that totally different in the nexus repository you can maintain the artifact but inside the uh, github repository you maintain the source code after the building your source code then one artifact like jar of war is generated, then that jar of war you can uh, upload inside the Nexus repository. Okay. So now this is all about Nexus. So now let's go into deep and die. Okay. Here you can see the developer is there. This is the developer. If you want developer in the common jar, then take the jar from Nexus repository. How I will show you the devops team work in the nexus okay devops team take a jar and deploy on this uh, aws account sorry not aws nexus repository and that uh, devops team will share one setting.xml file with that team so that team can access that jar in our project so let's see so what is i have explained suppose one more thing I would hear here. Suppose this is our jar. Reset password. Reset password. Okay. This is our jar. This jar build this team. Okay. Team 1. Okay. And team 2 is working. Team 3 is working. Team 4 is also there. Okay. These four teams want this jar so how the team one is provided so the in real time team one give this jar to that devops dev, devops engineer devops engineer that will maintaining that nexus repository what is that nexus nexus server or nexus repository so the DevOps team upload this jar into Nexus repository. Into Nexus repository, then share one setting file, setting.xml file to that uh, team one developer, team two, team three, and then team two, team one, team two, team three, team four is set into the Maven repository. Then you can access that by using remote, right? Within remote. So now let's start. What is the Nexus repository? So Nexus repository is nothing but artifactory server that you can maintain your jar and war. It is used to store project artifacts, jar and wars. So now using what is going on? I think so. Something is happening in the mic is not moving let wait 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 to the desktop the point is working check perfect place working yes okay not a big issue resume that recording okay that's okay fine just leave it this point to come here 
So using Nexus, we can maintain Maven remote repository. Using Nexus, we can maintain Maven remote repository. In the Maven, how many repositories are there? Three type of repository. There, local, central, and remote. Right? Uh, the Maven first go into the local. If jar is not there, go inside the central. If inside the central is not there, go inside the remote. Okay, these are the flow. So, a remote repository are used for the shared library. What is that meaning? Shared the library. Shared library means the jar which are required for multiple projects, right? Real time, we will use remote repository for the libraries. Libraries is nothing but the jar is both files. Okay, so real time we will use. Now, next is our setups. So, first we create one EC2 AWS account. So, login into the AWS cloud account. Maybe some issue. Okay, here just Amazon Linux and instance type T2 medium. You can take because 4 GB RAM is required. 4 GB RAM is required. What happened? I don't know. Just I want to close and open it again. Wait, exit. Okay, so here let's go open. Nexus nodes open this now from here. Let's see, Nexus issue is gone or not, but no, it's something is there here. This line is something okay, it's okay, not a big deal. Just remove all these things here. You can see, uh, we will do these setups in AWS. So let's go inside the AWS account. Just AWS. Login into the free tier. If you don't have AWS account, just create free account. Okay, but I have already just created and sign in. Okay. Uh, it's uh, not a free T2 medium, but you can delete within one hour, then it's free. Charge will not taken. So changing North Virginia, I'm using North Virginia for the different purpose. So go inside that bit. It's loading. Once it load. Okay, change the region, Ohio, select Mumbai region. Inside the Mumbai regions, we create one machine, like EC2, Elastic Compute, AWS also I will teach, don't worry. I'm planning this session, first the core Java is too much, that's why. Select EC2. Maybe network is slow. I think the site is slow. I don't know. Close this. And you can see here auto scaling instance, all these things. Just click on run, launch instance, and select the name like create the name of Nexus server. Nexus server. You can create and choose a machine, Amazon, and T2 free, free tier. But T2 micro is not working for us. T2 medium. We take 4 GB memory. Okay. And select key pair. Uh, create key pair if not there. Create key pair. APK. Like Nexus. 
कि क्रिएट ओके इट्स आस्किंग टू सेव सेव द डाउनलोड्स ओके सेव एंड डोंट टच एनी सेटिंग्स हियर जस्ट सेलेक्ट ऑन लॉन्च सो नाउ हियर यू कैन सी विटी टू मीडियम कनेक्ट विद द मोबाइल एक्सट्री सो डेस्कटॉप कम हियर कनेक्ट टू मोबाइल एक्सट्रीम बाय यूजिंग पब्लिक आईपी सो वेट इट्स पेंडिंग वंस इट्स रन देन वी विल इट्स रनिंग स्टेट कॉपी दिस आईपी दिस आईपी यू कैन कॉपी व्हिच आईपी यू वांट you can copy it all git it wait 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 start taking pen so close it so here you can take this ip you can take this ip copy this i click on this button copy this i p and paste on the mobile stream just erase this eraser is it's perfect it's eraser close this copy this i p open mobile stream open and uh, desktop show ssh let ssh paste when you have reached the maximum number of saved session wait delete the saved sessions okay delete delete all the sessions ishi to delete this is working okay now create ssh paste this ip select the username if you don't know the username here you can check here you can check just select on this and connect here you can see the username ec2 is right so just ec2 to hyphen user select advanced ssh setting use private key where we have private key okay and okay now set this you created now you connected with moba tick now next is let's see next by install the docker in moba you can copy this steps or otherwise you can run one by one sudo bym update machine sudo bym update hyphen by by means it will ask to update just updating okay okay then install docker sudo install bym bym sudo bym install docker hyphen by means if you not putting by then you can see it will ask to buy so this one when you put to buy it won't ask by total running time it's install or not let's see wait docker is it let's see docker hyphen v mm. now docker is installed now next point is you can see next point is sudo service docker start sudo service start doc docker sudo service start doc sudo service on the server right wish docker start perfect docker is started and now next is give the permission ec2 instance ec2 user okay the sudo 
ch mode is there user mode user mode hyphen ag docker ec2 hyphen user right perfect you will and exit exit that and restart the session so if you restart it then you have install the docker inside this now next thing is run that image which is image is available nexus image you can run so docker docker run hyphen d hyphen d hyphen p means port port is default port is 8081 colon 8081 this is the default port this is the default port and this is the exposed port okay then now hyphen hyphen name what is the name nexus sonart company name is sonart type sonart type slash nexus 3 right now hit enter locally it will find me let's see download it It's downloading. Yeah, downloaded is completed. So now, now let's see. Docker. Docker images. Now the Nexus Sonat image is there. Now let's see. Turning container Docker PS. This here. On this port, it's running. Let's see try to access this local host let's see if local host colon 8081 it is it will accessed or not not it won't access let's see just not no just come back instance and expose that port here then go network security security group inside the inbound rule and add the rule custom ip okay all traffic all traffic custom ipv4 0 and save it now let's hit this not a local host Copy this IP. Wait, wait, wait. Where EC2 IP IP not local host. Select the IP. Select this. Copy this IP. And here you can paste this IP and colon 8081. Yeah, this is the sonar. What is that? This is our sonar. That's what. Now sign in. Admin. Admin is user, but you need a password. So how you need a password? Pass. Pass. Sorry. Password. So one thing is. Okay. So. Now right now, right now we have one EC two, right? We have one EC2. EC2. Inside the EC2, we are running Docker. Docker also is virtualization. Virtualization, no? Docker is also one virtualization. Okay, something else is there. Okay. Docker. Docker tool doing some virtualization for that. So, first we need to inside the Docker docker container and inside the image you can access now here password like docker ps inside the go inside the ps command and docker exe dot container id don't wait go inside this directory and cat nexus dot cat command then you will get the password of particular file let's see here docker ps 
Docker PS is running. Now uh, uh, Docker. Docker E F C E. Docker EXE hyphen IT container just select that container just select this container okay just select this container and shift insert okay now slash win, not a win, not a win, but win and bash, win slash bash. Go inside this directory. Something going wrong. Okay, command is wrong. Don't copy paste. Now you are come inside this now. Just cat and uh, inside the so not you can copy this file this is the directory copy and shift insert right just you will get the password now up to bash don't copy to the bash this is our directory so before that you can copy this copy and uh, just select it copy just username is admin and put a password sign in uh, something happen maybe so wait copy okay and admin admin okay now it's login never next Search password. Just I'm putting random. Vivek. Perfect. Vivek. Okay. Next. Enable. Next. This is the random thing you can do. So this is the dashboard. So this is the total dashboard of our. Access repository. So this is the browse. Here you can check upload. I think this is the setting. Here is the admin and profile. All these things is there. You can go through this past 30 days, past 24 days, like that. So just do some practical perfect. So here you can see the repository. First, you need to create a repository, right? Repositories. Setting repositories. Here you can see create repository. Hmm. Now up to this is completed. Now next part is our remote repositories. Right. Okay. Here you can see remote repository used for shared library right i have told you shared library jars required for multiple projects jars required for multiple projects then you can put inside that that point i have brought in here if you want to use few jars files in multiple projects in the company then we will use remote repository to store those jars so just a best example nexus is the remote repository you can so create remote repo in the nexus at upload the jars go to the repository section create a new repository choose a map and hosted repo and give the name of the repo you just do these four steps here create repository and six map and host okay give that name of the repository Unique name, mm -hmm. Vivek, not Vivek, ITSP, repo, right? Repo is there. Policy, released, 
स्ट्रिक्ट और मेस इन लाइन डोंट डिस्टर्ब एनीथिंग ग्लोब एन डिप्लॉय लाइक ओके क्रिएट द डिपॉजिटरी नाउ हियर यू कैन सी द डिपॉजिटरी इज क्रिएटेड सो नाउ हियर पोस्टेड आईटीएसपी डिपॉजिटरी आई हैव गिव इट टू कंप्लीट द प्रोसेस एंड सेकंड यू कैन गेट द टीआरएल कॉपी द टीआरएल कॉपी द टीआरएल एंड पुट इट समवेयर एल्स Okay, so now here we put it text. Here we are put it this URL. Perfect. So now after that, go to the browse button. Browse button is there. So go to the inside the browse button and select the remote repository which you have default is empty. Default is empty and click to upload the component upload the jar files right now we have a one jar otherwise you can create in the desktop i ported one jar three consumer i want to upload this jar inside this so and i will use i will get this jar that's some other project okay so now here you can go and uh, upload browse button inside the browse buttons like this upload the component and browse that inside the desktop jar is there where the jar is there open jar form dot itsp artifact group id Uh, artifact ID is form. And ITSP artifact ID com dot ITSP and version one point zero one point zero generate form not upload. Now here you can select group ID and okay artifact ID should select like this. But okay, it's okay not is big deal. Let's see it's uploading. JMB's file is there. Let's see. It's uploading, uploading, uploading. It will take time. Once it upload, okay. Now here again, it's it uploaded. Component here you can see the component uploaded to the repository. Now view it. ITSP. Now here you can see uploaded. Jar is uploaded. Now, if users, you can see, copy this jars and put it somewhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, up to this, we have completed. Up to this, we completed. Up to this slide, we completed. Now, next is our take the dependency. We copy the dependency. Take this dependency and updated the jar file add in the project form dot as a dependency link below like that okay so before that you can just you can 
you need to add remote repository detail in a POM dot dependency section, dependency tags. Above dependency tags. So just start open project form. Online session Nexus Next. Launch <clears throat> Okay. Create one spring starter project. Here's new spring starter. Nexus demo. Access demo maven jarvar com dot com dot itsp access demo or like com dot itsp next and spring web spring web if you want otherwise you don't want just dev tool you can use it spring dev tool Nothing is I want. That's a simple project. I want. Okay, a Spring Boot simple project. Just here I will show you to the repository. The jar is downloading or not inside this. That part I will show you. Desktop. Okay. Now here is the pom dot xml is there inside the pom dot xml. Let's see. Here is the mapping. Is any our jar is there related to spring only jar is there here it's jar will download it here i will show you so first above the dependency section above the dependency section you can maintain a repository repository tax inside the repository tax uh, open a board so here repository inside the repository and take copy this see and uh, paste here and uh, just above we put it one url this url you can copy this control c and http colon repo told v like this we save we shave it this so first steps is done guys so now next is we added this and next thing is add this copied jar copied dependency okay so do one thing uh, copy that jar Copy this and inside the dependency section, you can add control a sorry, control a control CPF. Now save it. Now let's see it's connecting or not. Com.itsv.jr are coming up. Let's see. Download it. All. Let's see. Microsoft open
right now it don't so inside the map in other thing add the nexus server detail in the map in, in the map in setting dot xml file so go inside this and c drive inside the c drive files my bin this one we are using bin folder where is setting dot config setting dot xml file open this file in the bs ways open this file uh, inside the server server section is the right this one is the server section inside the servers we put this dependency this configuration copy and paste it admin password is vivek access save this save it perfect now hit this mbn if we are getting error or not let's see yes we will get error one error we will get what is that mirroring error run clean install mbn package open terminal where is the terminal guys where is our terminal not the just lag open show in terminal terminal i need a terminal paste it into shift insert is working let's see the mbn is nexus repository not re oh my god why mbn clean package saying mbn is not perfect great so run as build clean package just click on this see we get error or not now it's warning central repository it, you can see here it's working on the central repository right replacing artifact public online session nexus target snapshot dot jar package archive this boot has been renamed public online sessions target dot jar right original let's see but here this should be remote not central there let's see jar is coming or not yeah now itsp jar is coming it's this is our jar like com dot itsp no? So jar is coming but not connecting with the remote it's giving a central so maybe mirroring issue is there let's see let's see one more thing is uh pending guys what is the thing is thing is thing is so up to this is completed nexus so how to resolve the HTTP mirroring block? Maybe a uh, mirroring issue is there. So copy this. So now copy this and Go desktop and inside that file mirroring concept is there. Wait, desktop config setting dot xml setting dot xml is there inside the mirror mirrors concept. Inside the mirror, you can paste this dummy like HTTP 00 
it's false save this and let's see okay real time workflow so desktop perfect now here you can just again try to package this clean uh, clean package main original life effect is hitting from the downloading that jars from the nexus but message is not saying but it's okay but where is jar is our jar is available inside the nexus repository right here is jar is available okay 23 mb jar is available inside the here without sharing this jar the devops people upload the jar here and just share that xml file like this information they share what is that information just they share the repository url and put it in your uh, project and share this admin detail okay separate file is there so now so here uh, in some conclusion we have is the conclusion so devops team devops team will set up the nexus repository who will set up the nexus repository devops team as the developer we need to take a setting.xml file from the any existing team members okay and put inside the keep inside that of mbin config folder configuration or credential with this configuration, our Maven project will connect with the remote repository. Okay. With this credential, it's connected to the our Maven repository, remote repository, right? Now next is same thing. Uh, delete it. So now this is total our Nexus repository. I hope you got that clear clarity about this. So these whole things is working on AWS. So before going to delete this AWS account, not account, EC2 instance, if the EC2 instance is running, then new charge will attack you. Okay, charges will increase, charges will. So just select this instance. Uh, you can stop, exit, yes exit perfect now it's exit close this one close this one and action uh -huh. where is the instance the state is terminate terminate so now it's shutting down once it's shutting down is completed it will remove from it so for the notes, I will share the notes here, guys. Wait, where I will share the notes. Wait, here I will share the notes. Okay, and now you can refresh this. It won't work. Like I will share the notes that you can share the. Uh, you can request me, and I will allow to you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for watching.